Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do pop-up video style sound effects and pop-ups like this. If you're interested, keep watching. If not, check out some of my other tutorials. Let's get into it. Alrighty folks, so what we're gonna need for this example is a piece of video and an image. So what we're gonna do is grab that piece of video. You're gonna add it to the timeline by left clicking and dragging it and holding it and then letting go. I'm gonna expand out this clip a little bit so I can see what's going on in the clip. Okay, so for the tutorial, what I wanna do is show you how to have something make a boop sound when the image pops up. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this image here. I'm gonna click on it to highlight it. Make sure you click on the video overlay settings. And we're gonna to go to picture in a picture. And then, you know, you can resize it and customize it as you will. Change the color, etc., etc. Okay, well that's good enough for now. Let's move it a little bit closer here. Okay, so when that image pops up, actually let me click on that here. What I wanna do is get rid of the dissolve time. So you can use these little controls here to make it to zero, or you can go over here and turn this to zero as well. And then you can click on the checkbox or you can click anywhere else in iMovie and it'll accept those changes. So now the image just appears and Probably don't need it more than a couple seconds. Appears and disappears. Okay, let me expand it a little bit more. And I'm gonna increase the size of the clips themselves by clicking on settings and then going to clip size and making it bigger. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to actually be able to see the sound. What I'm going to do is actually mute this clip here. And now I need to go find a sound effect. So I'm gonna to go to the audio menu item at the top and I'm gonna do a search for bubble because I want that water bubble sound. And I think it's this second one here, this folly one that I actually liked. So what I'm gonna do is drag that into the timeline. Okay, now this thing is long. So what I really wanna do is, I gotta maximize this a little bit more so I can see. Okay, what I really wanna do is find a piece of this clip here I don't need the whole thing. I need a good bubble sound. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the clip. I'll do an Apple key and a B to split it. And I'll delete that part. And then you can actually drag it in if you want. Let me expand this out a little bit more so we can see what we're working with here. Just so I can have only that sound. There we go. That's good enough. Then what you're gonna do is drag it over to here. And let me resize this just a little bit so we can see what's going on. So I want it to be exactly when the image starts. So we'll line those up. What I'll do is do an Apple key C to copy it. Then I'll move this thing down here. Then I'll do an Apple key V as in Victor to display it. And then you're gonna go ahead and uh, put it to kind of just about the end. So it disappears. So what I'm gonna do is uh, move the mic up here for you. Okay, so you get the basic idea. There's some things that you can do. You can do bubbles. You can do golf swings. Those are, those are pretty good. Of the two sound effects I look for, it's either bubble or often I'll also do is golf. So for example, this one here, the golf hit under the sports category, I would do the same thing. So I would select it and then I would try to find the best part of the sound. So probably here and about here since it's only a second long. So again, the I key for the in, the O key for the out. Then I'm gonna drag it down here and let's go ahead and move this one out of the way. Let's see how that sounds. You can also control the volume if you need it louder or quieter. So let's go ahead and try that one. Let's see where we're at here. That's probably I can make it a little bit quieter on this side. How about like that? There we go. Okay, so again, depending on the image you have, if you want it to be a little pop-up with a little um, a cloud with text in it or a little balloon or you know a little call out, it's probably better to do something like a bubble or a golf swing, I'd recommend. And this, that's basically it. So you can make your videos look really cool and do some cool stuff with it. And let me go ahead and do a little bit here. I'll go ahead and speed it up and then I'll show you in the end. OK, 
Okay, so here we go. Check it out. This is, of course, just done really quickly. But again, you can use your imagination and do all kinds of things coming in, popping in everywhere. So let's check it out. Okay, and with that, we're finished. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Peace and aloha.